What's up, brotards and hotards? Ship flippies and chipple dippies. Sorry you can't see my face. But I got the camera set up to video the funk roads. So we're doing a little bit of Funk Brothers, a little bit of Bob Marley, a little bit of Hunt and Peck, a little bit of Flange, Afro Roads, Yabba. So here's the skinny penny. Uh, this is Mr. Rhodes, 1977. So I finished up the George William Holt Rhodes, Knowles Rhodes. Um, I really ought to show you. So, uh, I got my webcam on a tripod, and my Samson mic is mounted to a gooseneck on my work table, so they're not <laughs> combined. But anyway, this road looks nice because I did all the hardware. Legs, um, hardware, looks very nice now as a package, but that isn't That's what not I'm playing tonight. Not not flat and cut, but we are going to play the seven day two. We're going to play Mr. 1977 that I recently hauled back out because it's always nice to have two that you can A B and it has a retro flyer preamp in it. And I tidied up some notes, shaved out his paw pads, used my undercoat rake, and uh, attached the boss. This. So that's our funk magic, the Ottawa AW2 analog boss pedal running through the effects loop of the Mackie mixer. Um, Configuration, Mr. George William Knowles's crown power amp that came in handy because I burned up my PV digital amp not that long ago. Um, here's my work table. And uh, there's the mic I'm talking through. And there are my Leslie speakers that I'm trying to fix. Uh, and here 
here's the uh, Christmas train set. Yeehaw. Anyway, what we're doing is I uh, spent some time getting the level set on the funk roads, so I'm going to attempt to play some ghetto jive. Other issues of which to take note. One is that when you play piano, most professional pianists, no matter how well trained they are, and they go to Eastman and Juilliard like John Baptiste, you play the piano with your body, and especially you play the Rhodes with your body. So you need a connection from your fingertips that go all the way down the fingers, up your arms, down your shoulders, down to your bottom, down to the ground. So getting the height of your keyboard uh, set correctly and then adjusting your throne so that you have, when you sit down, all of that just falls into place. It's extremely important so that you can feel the key notes under your fingers and you have a seamless connection between the sound that you're hearing and physically what you're feeling in your fingertips. It's very important.
so not a whole lot going on there, but uh, you know, I got the old plans, roads going, so that's cool. <laughs> 